what's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will at the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel or www.whatsupinthesky.com. A little bit of space news for you, courtesy of space.com and some other places here. Um, you know, I, I get everything just emailed to me throughout the day. Uh, Google alerts are amazing. If you're interested in stuff, go check those things out if you haven't. It's uh, google.com forward slash alerts. You can just set stuff up. So whenever ISON, like ISON is big right now, so whenever something comes out about ISON, a website, news article, I haven't sent it to me right away. So I'm getting stuff all day about it. Um, check this out. This was, uh, I'm not sure if I had this one out yet, but this was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful picture taken by Adam Block. Uh, this was at the Arizona Sky Center on the morning of October 8th. Um, just pretty gorgeous. Let's see if we can pull up the, the whole picture here. Move that Dell ad out of our way. <laughs> It knows that I buy Dells for work. I tell you what, they just watch and watch our computers, and they know exactly what kind of ads to give us. Uh, I'm an IT guy, so I know all about that. If you're getting weird ads on your computer, you better look to see where everybody's going. But anyway, check that out. Gorgeous comet. I'm hoping it makes it around the sun. Um, it's still intact now. Right now, it only has one side, apparently, that's facing the sun, or at least getting that uh, heat from it. So... Uh, the latest Hubble picture came out yesterday. I think I showed it in a picture yesterday, and uh, it looks like it's ready to rock. It's still intact. They didn't see no pieces. A lot of people were upset about the resolution of that Hubble picture, and uh, to be honest with you, it was gorgeous looking to me. I mean, you can't really see inside the comb. It's not like it's 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 impacting. It's taking what it sees. You know, it's not like it's uh, radar too in it. Um, so I mean. Amazing. Much love to the people at Hubble. Uh, Adam Block, he's brought out some amazing pictures of this. Um, and like I said, this just comes with a little bit of story here if you want to check it out. This one's over at space.com. A lot of good stuff there. they got a great website. Um, check this out. If we didn't need anything else to worry about, a recently discovered... Uh, okay, here we go. All right. A recently discovered 1,300-foot wide asteroid that passed near Earth last month could pay the planet another close visit in 2032. But... NASA officials say there's nothing to fear, as the odds that the space rock will hit Earth are extremely slim. But they're going to tell you about it. <laughs> it was discovered on October 8th. Uh, it was, it was, it's crazy how stuff just gets discovered right as it's coming around. Um, you know, as it just comes flying by, they, they, it's like we don't see the stuff coming, I and mean, it's amazing. These uh, they, we've got a lot of satellites working on it. A lot of a lot of amateur people working on it but there's just so much out there and it seems like there's so much more coming in now and a lot of like I said, a lot of people are saying with the uh, there's so many channels out there saying that uh, there's just so much coming in the fireballs have ramped up I'm not sure if it's it, I it's really that or maybe the access to the information is a little bit better now like I've seen fireballs my whole life I've probably seen about seven or eight uh, you know not many more recently but right as I was saying that they weren't a lot more I must say to Anna my girlfriend saw one so you know you never really know with this stuff and like I said who knows what's coming at us if we can't see it we're blind to it um, but right now it's uh, 6.50 I'm gonna go check on the moon see if it's come up over the horizon we were just outside uh, we couldn't see it right now we've it's on the horizon it's about to come up we should be able to see it but right now they, they some planes have flown by like I said uh, and cause some cloud cover and hopefully that's going to move on off for uh, the 7:30 eastern time to get, catch out some of the lunar eclipse and uh, if you're going to go out there now i'm going to hit upload on this and, and just roll on out so hopefully you'll we'll see this if you're going to go see it it's not going to be very you know if you're looking for a total eclipse it's not what's going to be tonight it's just going to have the shadow that's going to come across it will look more like you know the moon has since it's made of dust they say like it has that space dust on it or whatever the moon dust it it's really reflective that's why it looks like a flat disc um it doesn't have the shading like a ball like if you hold up a ball you see the dark around the edges well tonight you'll be able to see some of those dark around the edges it'll look more like that um so anyway guys check out space.com these uh, articles just came out today um i hope you guys are having a wonderful day i'm gonna do some more anomaly videos tonight i got a couple ready to go uh much love take it easy what's up in the sky 37 hit comment like you know do what you guys do what do you guys think about ison what do you guys think about the clips you guys gonna try and watch it better get out there much love